This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, May the 20th. I'm James Spann. Nothing on the radar today. Looks like a nice stretch of dry weather in the days ahead and heating up the warmest weather so far this year on the way. There's the water vapor satellite view across the nation. you got that big trough back in the western states uh, moving into California, but around here an upper ridge nosing in from the west. The core of the heat bubble is over Texas and Louisiana. That'll be spreading in here, so we are expecting highs potentially in the low 90s later this week. Get ready. This afternoon, mostly 80s on the board. Tuscaloosa 86, Birmingham 84, low to mid 80s for Anniston and Gadsden. The only spot under 80 this afternoon, Fort Payne, they've got 79. Around the nation, you can see those 90s building over West Texas. And the 80s are moving north to places like Des Moines and Chicago as a summer look begins to dominate the maps as we approach the unofficial Arrival of summer this weekend with Memorial Day. Off to the west, we have red flag warnings in effect for a number of states from the Texas and Oklahoma panhandles over to Arizona. And later today and tonight, there's a risk of severe weather for a few spots up north, including cities like Chicago and Cleveland. In fact, there's an enhancement around Chicago where they could see some storms with uh, damaging wind and large hail, maybe even a tornado or two. Tomorrow, slight risks again well to the north of here. And on day three, a risk for parts of the western high plains, but uh, no severe weather problems here for the rest of May. Maybe the severe weather season basically is done for the spring. And really no rain for the next five days. This is the rain ballot through Sunday morning at uh, 7 o'clock. A little green showing up there. Uh, and that's for maybe some potential for isolated showers with a backdoor type front. But the chance of any one spot getting wet this weekend looks very small. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. This is at 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet up. The upper high is centered uh, around Monroe, Louisiana. Got a big trough in the western states. But we'll be sunny and warm highs in the upper 80s. Thursday, the upper high moves to South Alabama. And a good chance we'll see highs at or just over 90. The GFS is printing 91. The sky will be sunny. Got the big upper low developing just to the southeast of San Diego out west, but uh, no impact here. There's the surface chart. Again, dry as a bone. There is a front north of us that might bring a few showers to places like Knoxville, Tennessee, but no impact here. Now, Friday, that front kind of tries to ease in from the northeast, and you can see it's losing its identity, but it just might trigger a shower somewhere over the northeastern corner of the state Friday afternoon. But the prospect of rain even there is so small, I just don't think it's worth mentioning right now. Uh, the GFS showing 92 for Birmingham on Friday. The warmest we've seen so far this year is 88 earlier this month, so this will be the hottest weather so far in 2014. Saturday is the holiday weekend begins. That uh, backdoor front is just kind of stalled out near the northeastern corner of the state, but there's just hardly any shower activity with that. Uh, we'll leave it dry. I should be around 90, partly to mostly sunny. And again on Sunday, uh, there could there be enough moisture for a shower somewhere? Yes, but the odds of any one spot getting wet are so small, we're not going to mention that. And it stays pretty warm, if not hot. I think 90 is when most people call it hot, and the GFS is showing 91 for Birmingham. Monday of next week, that uh, system over the southwest beginning to lift out, but we've still got ridging here, so not so sure we see a lot of rain on Monday. Uh, the sky partly to mostly sunny with only a tiny chance of a shower on Memorial Day. And by the way, Gulf Coast weather great for the next uh, seven days. Sunny days, fair nights. And Tuesday, a week from today, moisture increases over Georgia, in the Carolinas, but around here, again, that looks relatively dry. A few days later, this is the end of the month, May 31st, a uh, cold front trying to push in here. Just maybe that'll bring some rain, and we could use some rain. It's going to be dry for a while. You don't want to go into June with uh, dry soil conditions. The end of the forecast on June 5th, the westerlies are far to the north. Down below that looks like June, kind of hot and muggy and Maybe a brief shower somewhere, but that looks basically dry. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.